to do this, so I, I ain't never get a chance to do this and say it. It's show time at the Apollo, and it's my turn now. Ha <laughs> ha! How y'all doing? MC Shan. What's on. the deal, bro? I, I want to get this over, right? A lot of people been thinking I'm sick and whatnot, but I'm not sick. I lost weight because I lost my teeth. I actually needed to lose them. I left them in a cup in the dentist. So I want y'all to just concentrate on me right now. And don't think I'm sick. Just listen to what I'm saying. Let's go. Let's go. First of all, good to meet you, sir. <laughs> Glad to meet y'all. How's everybody tonight? Say hey there. Yeah. I see man Shizzle with a whistle. I just left it in the yeah, back, y'all. Your yeah, energy is unmatched, bro. Your energy is unmatched. So tell me how you guys met. How did that happen? Well, Tyrone is my mentor. Anything that you see me and the way I act and do the way I do business, it's all responsible for him. Okay? It's his fault that I act the way I do. So if you got any complaints with me, call Ty. Thank you very much. What was, what was the label like back then? The early Back years. then, I thought I was the man. You <laughs> I were, used to call, you are. I used to call people. I just used to think I was a man, because I was. <laughs> All right, but that label, it was more of a family. Unlike a lot of labels where you have a lot of conglomerate artists, we all came up together. And there was a, there was a, a, a hierarchy in the juice group. And I was the biggest one. <laughs> the skinniest one, but I was the biggest one. And so, as people came in the Jews crew, there were things that you had to go through a ritual. You had to either tell how many times we stood at the airport and they missed the seeing them bring our bags in. Oh, God. <laughs> well, the and Mr. C story is a little different. Mr. C got caught Duke with his hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> so I was going to kick him out. But Shante said, no, nah, let's not kick him out. Let's make him carry all our luggage. <laughs> and that's what we did. And that's the type of things we did. All right, yeah. but Todd, let's tell them what Mr. C did. Mr. C went and charged up all these phone calls from London and put oh, that yeah, we're in the time. and said, Biz did it. <laughs> <laughs> and Biz always was on the phone, so we, you know, oh, look, I got one, more, one minute 47. Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to talk about the night, the special night that came together, right? What are some of the things you remember about it? The, the I remember it becoming night. a musical emporium because I ain't never seen no hip hop artist with a band before, and I was killing it. That's what I was gonna ask you. So, what what made you come up with the idea to use a band? Him? Okay. He wanted to be like me to be like the Luke the Vandross or something like hip hop. <laughs> no, no. Listen, listen. One thing I said about Shan, Shan was always willing to try new things. Now, for those of you who don't know, Shan was the first Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Because he was on Warner Brothers, and they tried to change Shan's image to soften him up to be that role. All right? But Shan ended up being Shan and cursed everybody out. <laughs> so they went and got somebody really soft. So. Hold on. Ty ain't tell y'all. Ty ain't trying to tell y'all the right way. They pulled the can of grease out on me. So let me get this straight. He didn't want to say that, but I'm just telling to tell you, it pulled the can of grease out. I said, no, nah, I ain't with that show. So my career is what it is, and I'm happy with it. That's wild. I'm still intact, if you know what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> Don't disrespect me, nobody. I got 15 seconds, y'all. What's up? <laughs> So you was gonna be the original Prince, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Yeah, I was. That look when you see that that album, Play It Again, Shan. Right, you see me all dressed in some nice tuxedo. It was like, do, 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 do. <laughs> you get ready but for see, Hollywood. I was willing to work with them because I said, well, it's, it's a bigger label. I'm gonna still do the lyrics that I do, but I'm gonna do what they want me to do because sometimes you gotta kiss booty to make where you gotta be but you don't have to take none <laughs> hey, yo, hey, let's talk about the bridge perfect segue you love to hear the story again and again like he said but we'll get to that later y'all just remember yo, my time is up but yo, if they gonna let love me you. keep we love laughing, you, ain't no good huh? let's go anything else you want to say about the night that happened we're gonna show some more footage and get into some more footage to see you a little bit later anything you want to talk about the night 
All I'm gonna say is that what the Juice Crew has became, we've been through a lot. We've been like brothers and sisters, we fight. And I'm the main one always talking crap about everybody, right? But at the end of the day, we're older, I'm older. All the stuff that I said, don't think I'm apologizing to y'all now because I said it when I said it, I meant it. But I'm older now, okay, I'm older now. But the Juice Crew is, is just like my family. That's what it is. And there's nothing gonna change that. I might have called Kane a new guy. Ace, I give him problems all the time, but that's just me. But we love each other. And when we get together, this is what y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see the Juice Crew tonight. And those that are not here, this might be the last time you'll ever see us together again like this. So if you miss this, you have missed history in the making. MC Shan, y'all, put your hands together. We're gonna see you in a little bit, huh? Look, I'm gonna show y'all how they give me some time. That clock says zero like five minutes ago. Peace, y'all. <laughs>